Well, that's one way to celebrate 100 games, isn't it, Bird? Great result, uh, another clean sheet, and you know, we're climbing a ladder, so yeah, over the moon. How do you think it went today, Johnny? Oh, brilliant, really, really, you know, great result, um, re really good performance. <laughs> Um, and obviously all the sweet because you know it's our hundredth game I suppose. Um, but last four games have been have been great. You know when you're coming off a, a, the run that we've had where we've not won in seven, um, and, and, and to do what we've done over them four games, four clean sheets, um, and play the way we have, and, and the work rate the lads have put is very pleasing for me and him because we've been working a lot on certain things like the set pieces in training as you've as you've seen, um, and it's nice to see it pay off. Um, and I've always said, and I'll, and I'll stick to it, as the pitches get wetter and wetter and change, I think we'll, you know, we'll, we'll keep getting better. And the exceptional circumstances today, what's the running late? How do you manage that? How do you handle that? I think you know, it's, it's, it's all about the balance. I think uh, we're, we're here ready. So you know, as, as much as they're late, we're here ready, prepared to go, and we're being told that you know we've got to wait for an extra hour for, for kickoff. So I think you know, between the two, there's no excuses really, because both sides it's, it's, it's equal really. Again, because we named the side and, and got the lads ready to get warmed up, and then we was getting told we was going to have to wait another 15 minutes. So psychologically and mentally, it's, it puts a bit of a damper on it for both sides. Um, you know, they've been on the coach, but we've been there before when we get to games late, and it's probably the best games we play. You know, when we're late and we. We have to get out and get warmed up quick, so I don't think there's no excuses there. And then when it came to it, Nick getting his first goal, are you pleased for him being oh, back on again? Yeah, it's brilliant. It's great for you know the new lads. We just said that at the end of the game when we're going through with the lads. Um, you know, all the old boys have made the new lads feel feel welcome. You've got Jack and Chris Atkinson as well, and, and Paddy um, as well. So they've all, they've all fit straight in. You know, and to see Nick getting his goal, he's a great little player in here, and you can see him enjoying his his football with us. So I'll make it continue. And Scott getting a rare goal as well. Absolutely, um, well, thunderbolt, I suppose. Yeah, it's going right. Down. It was an own goal. <laughs> it was, it was de it's definitely got to go down as an own goal. We, we was looking right at it. It's, it was definitely going wide. I don't mean to put a damn on it for the lad, but it's going wide. So we'll, we'll, we'll make sure we'll contest that. Make sure it goes down as an own goal. Um, and just finally, attention turns next week to the FA Trophy. Um, we discussed it at Harrogate away. Uh, just be looking the same again and carry on this one. Yeah, yeah, of course we do. Same, same as what we said against Hyde. You know, it doesn't matter what competition it is. It's keeping the momentum going. Five unbeaten, you know, including that cup. So, want to keep it going into into the league game. Ideally, you wish it was another league game so you can keep it keep it rolling. But it is what it is, and it's a it's arguably the, one of the toughest games that we could have got. You know, on, on, on paper. Uh, but they'll be thinking the same thing, and, and we'll go up there in, in good spirits and look forward to it. Congratulations. Cheers, Cheers boys. boys. Thank you.